Now to new information tonight in the tragedy off I-287 in New Jersey. A father tossed his two young sons from an overpass before jumping to his own death. And in what sure sounds like a miracle, the toddlers survived. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live at the hospital tonight in Patterson. Tony. Maurice, the three-year-old has a concussion. The one-year-old's injuries include a bruised lung. And tonight, people who knew their father are trying to understand his act of madness. On social media, he presented a benign, happy face to the world. He was a loving father, and he was so happy to be married and to become a father. Atlanta news anchor Astrid Martinez attended high school with John Spinkin. She is struggling to understand what brought him to I-287 Monday night on a mission of murder-suicide. I do know that um, recently he had sought help. He reached out to people, but from what I understand, um, he was in a dark place and maybe it was too late. It started after a verbal dispute with his wife Monday night at the home they bought last summer in Pequannock. Spinkin grabbed his toddler sons and drove to a known suicide spot, I-287 near exit 55. He parked on the shoulder. Police believe Spinkin carried his sons onto the roof of his white SUV and threw them over an eight-foot high fence before climbing over and falling to his death. Chopper 2 over the scene Tuesday. You can see the steep drop, but also the trees that may have saved the boys' lives. Thick with trees, and the officers, again from the scene last night, told me that's look like, that looks as if what was help helped to cushion the, the impact of the children. When the officers found the children conscious and uh, and alert, it, it, it's nothing short of a miracle. That's for sure. Spinkin ran a car detailing business. State records show he recently settled a $26,000 lien for unpaid taxes. In 2003, Spinkin did a brief stint in jail for a domestic violence incident and unlawful possession of a pellet gun. Friends are saying that 2003 incident involved Spinkin's ex-girlfriend, not his wife. And speaking of his wife, many shows of support for her tonight, including the caring strangers who left teddy bears at her home for her sons. Live at the hospital in Patterson, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Thinking of all of them, Tony, thank you.